Hi, Steve Arderburn here, and thanks for joining me for Going Deeper. Now, I'd like to invite you to do stuff with Going Deeper. Either like it, send it to a friend, record it, refer to it, something, if it means anything. Today, we're continuing with procrastination. You might think, well, Steve, it's time to move on. Well, I'm procrastinating moving on because there's some really important things. And maybe, just maybe, this could be, I don't know, the most important time uh, that we talk. Last time we were together, I said I was going to do something this time, but I'm going to do it the next time. But this time, I want you to consider three things. As procrastinators, there are things that we totally neglect doing. There's a second classification of things that we don't do. Those are things that we avoid doing. So we got a, we've got neglect, we've got avoidance, and then we've got absolute refusal to do it. Okay? So I'm going to ask you to think about some of the things that you put off, and I'll help you with this a little bit, I hope, about things that neglect, we neglect, avoid, or refuse to do. Now, if I neglect it, it's just one of those things I never, ever have time to do it. So I just don't. Just don't ever make time or don't have time. Avoiding, these are things I don't do because they don't make me feel good. So I avoid them like the plague. I just, you know, I, I just don't feel good about doing it. it. Hurts to do it, whatever. And then the things that I absolutely refuse to do, determine not to do, well, maybe... Maybe that is an issue of irresponsibility on my part because I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to try to prove to the world, the rest of the world might need to do this, but not me. Such as saving, investing, paying taxes, different things like that. Okay, so let's just think about this. If there's something that I neglect doing, it could reveal what I actually believe to be unworthy of my time and effort. Okay, so if I simply just neglect ever helping anybody, then maybe I don't think people are important. If I neglect working out, maybe I don't think my health is important. So I need to really think about what, well, how much do I value these things that I'm neglecting? And why am I neglecting them? I need to think about that more than five minutes. Why do I neglect health? sharing, giving, serving, worshiping God, all these kinds of things. Why do I do it? Second thing, things that I avoid may give me some clues to where in my life I've been wounded. Maybe I don't ever, uh, I don't, maybe I don't want to go to church, let's say, and I just avoid it because when I was a child, we had such a horrible church we went to. It was all shame, blame, and, and more of the same. And so you just say, I'm, I, I'm not going to church. Well, you know, maybe church would be a great thing. Maybe you develop relationships. Maybe it would draw you closer to God if you worked through the wound and realized that one little church down in Dalhart, Texas, where you were raised, is not the same as every other church in the world. Okay? So, why am I neglecting something? Why am I avoiding something? And wow. Why am I refusing to do something? And that could really point out, you know, maybe uh, I'm, I'm in a power struggle in a relationship with somebody and they want me to do something. I just absolutely refuse to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm stubborn. Or it could be that I'm trying to prove to the world that I got this thing figured out and I don't need to do it. So, those three areas, if you write down some of the stuff that's difficult for you to do, maybe you could put a label. This is what I am refusing to do. This is what I'm neglecting altogether. And this is what I'm avoiding. And then try to figure out a little bit of the why. Now, yesterday I was in a therapy session. And I shared some stuff about myself that I hadn't thought about in a long time. Felt really good and the guy made a big deal out of it because that's what I was paying him to do. Maybe if you call 1-800-NEW-LIFE, it's time for you to get a counselor to help you go through some stuff as to why it is you're procrastinating. The worst thing you could ever do is to need help and put off getting help. That's the worst, most destructive 
kind of procrastination. And I want to encourage you. I know the phone weighs about 800 pounds when you need to use it, but use it, pick it up and make the phone call. If you need to get some help, it's 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Also, don't forget uh, Emotional Freedom Workbook or at that same number, uh, or the, that book is at the same number, 1-800-NEW-LIFE. And then if you want a Restoration Bible, Great Study Bible, Devotional Bible, you just email me, stevesocial at newlife.com and send me your address and I'll get it out to you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time for Going Deeper. And don't put off listening, watching, or reviewing with somebody the things that we've said right here. Bye.